Okay, I wanted to give you a quick idea of what I'm thinking here, because this will be the this will be kind of a first run through. So um, we've done a couple things. So let's start with the transliteration. So um, here's the file I downloaded from OCLC. So two ways you can use this. The first one, um, if you uh, have the cursor here and you go to Tools, Transliterate, and this is where I'll put Languages to Arabic. This is what I meant by you'll get a text file. Um, here you can put as, you can actually run this from anywhere um, and you can add as much text to the source text as you want. Uh, I just left one process, you get the results, they've been put to the clipboard or you can just, you know, copy and paste yourself. Um, all right, that's, that's one. So right now that's on the clipboard. I could go here and, you know, paste, but I'm not gonna worry about that. All right, so the next one, um, because that's kind of clunky, uh, the base there, so it can be tested in the other place, which is probably more likely. Um, if you uh, just right click on the field you want to work on, um, and it goes ahead and just translates that field. And so, you can see that it went ahead and did the translation, and then you'll have to go through and put the subfielding in that gets taken out by default. Um, all right, uh, same thing if you wanted to go the other way. So right click um, from Arabic and regenerates the, uh, the fields, although these right here are quirky. I'll have to figure out why that didn't tweak. Um, anyways, I'll figure that out, but you can see the uh, how it's um, re-embedded the uh, files. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you is the virtual keyboard. So from here, uh, you can either go to edit and virtual keyboard, or you can type control shift V and it will open up the Lexios. Um, you can set this aside. I'm going to make this um, transparent the same way that other windows are. Uh, so here I can go to whichever language I'm interested in. Uh, so there's my Arabic one, um, or my Western keyboard, or uh, you're more familiar with this. Let's say we want to do the Arabic transliterated keyboard. Um, we can do that, and then we can type our values here, whatever we're doing, I, I guess. And then when you're done, um, we'll just pick a so we'll go ahead and take this one. I'm going to go ahead and click on things. So when I'm done, I click copy text. Text gets copied to the clipboard. And uh, I can just close that and then paste it into my space um, or wherever I want to put it. It's not just in market at that point, it's a copy for anybody. So that's where I've got it right now. Um, I'm going to do a couple of odd and tweaks um, to kind of wrap stuff up. But uh, that's kind of what I've thought of, uh, at least for an initial kind of um, implementation, so you can get a chance to see how it's working and how it might uh, show up.